Late Night Health continues. I'm Mark Allen, along with the insane Daryl Wayne. And we are going to talk about, I don't think we've talked about this recently, uh, female incontinence. Our guest is uh, Oscar Del Cid. He's the CEO of uh, its DNA Biofarm product. is called Vmaxine, and it's distributed by DNA Biofarm. Uh, I'm curious, uh, Oscar, welcome to Late Night Health. Is female incontinence a major issue with women? Oh my goodness! Uh, this is something people don't don't know. Uh, it's a subject that is hardly ever talked about. When we watch TV, we see all these commercials about men's, uh, you know, urinary issues, you know, prostate, like prostate, this and that. Believe it or right. not, ten, eight out of every ten problems with incontinence or urinary issue belong to women. Men are only account only for twenty percent. There are approximately between uh, there are between twenty five and thirty million women in the United States alone that suffer of this uh, problem. Um, and how is it treated? You know, by by doctors. Uh, this is a uh, an over the counter uh, supplement. Yes, the number one solution for the women who suffer of this uh, problem is adult diapers and. Uh, adult pad, which is a very uncomfortable, you know, way of living life. Uh, there isn't really anything that women do. And mostly, let me tell you one thing, this is a subject that women, most women won't even talk about with their doctors. So it's something you literally, a doctor has to, like, ask and ask and try to figure it out. And uh, most women believe that you know, incontinence is just part of getting old. It's a natural part of growing, which is not. You know, there are things that can be done about it, and it's. A, I believe that it's a, it's a subject worth uh, talking about and doing something about. I know that uh, there used to be a an over a, a, a prescription drug, and one of the side effects was memory loss. There was a prescription yes. drug for female incontinence, and I was always, I always thought, gee, you run to the bathroom, and you come back, and you can't remember what, you know, if you're in a restaurant, in the days where we could go to restaurants, you, yeah. you, you wouldn't remember where your table was. There are terrible well, side effects to some of these drugs. Yes. What about uh, with you can, FEMA? You can see the commercials FEMA. on TV. It's a beautiful little cartoon with a little bladder hand, handling the woman's hand, taking her to the bathroom everywhere. But uh, yes. the side effects for this issue is, is, is absolutely staggering. Believe it or not, the most common and the one that most women do such a reason to stop taking is, is a dry mouth and a dry taste in their mouth. Makes their their entire day unbearable. They cannot eat. It doesn't matter how much water they drink. I mean, it is a, it's a really bad thing. And uh, we can say that Femaxin is an over-the-counter product, but I can tell you one thing. Femaxin underwent randomized double-blind clinical studies in Europe, just as a pharmaceutical product. Good. And uh, the results were absolutely amazing. Over 90% satisfaction after only two months of usage of the product. So the product is well researched, well clinically tested, and well manufactured with a high level of quality control, European quality control, before it comes to the United States. And that's, uh, it, it, they follow good manufacturing practices, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, absolutely, standards. You cannot do a gump without following good manufacturing practices in the European Union. Uh, does uh, is DNA biofarm primarily a uh, an alternative a and supplement company, or do you also do uh, pharmaceuticals? Well, uh, the company is uh, twenty eight years old and it has evolved over the years. We used to deal with pharmaceuticals, mostly intensive care products, throughout uh, Latin America and uh, Europe and Asia. And it has evolved. Uh, a few years ago, we acquired a company in, in South Africa that uh, develops and manufactures natural products to treat uh, uh, issues like psoriasis in a natural and effective way. So we have moved more, more toward the natural way of healing, which we truly believe exists and is better for, for us as, as, uh, as humans than, than chemicals and side effects and 
an option to die if you take a product, as you can <laughs> literally see sometimes in the side effects. So we believe in the nature can not only nurture, but can cure, and we're proving it. And you told me you've been uh, doing business in South Africa for over 20 years. Yes, um, yes. We, uh, I have been doing business in South Africa for over 20 years, and uh, I've been working with uh, labs and uh, schools uh, developing uh, these uh, natural products. Uh, they have a vast knowledge of uh, plants and natural uh, effects on the things that surround us, and uh, we are actually putting this knowledge into labs and creating products that will be incredibly beneficial for, for our humans. Uh, when you develop these products here in the United States, a lot of companies don't do double-blind placebo studies. Um, no. uh, they use research that's been done on, a, on an ingredient in their product. You're yes. not doing that. You're actually doing the full pharmaceutical... Well, we have to. Let me tell you one thing. This is a, an issue that women have suffered for many years, and, you know, they try a product here, a product there, and they don't work. And these products are like miracle products. They just say, well, we can help you, we can cure you, even if the issue is uncurable. Maybe the issue is just treatable. So we have to go that step forward to tell uh, women, go to our web page, go to our femaxin.com, look at the study, see how the study was scary. If you have questions, send, us, send, send it to us, we'll ask you. We want them to know that this product actually works, that there, are, there is proof behind the package. And the website again is? femaxin.com. Uh, femaxine.com uh, in your own personal life do you uh, do you subscribe to uh, alternative health or what we've ter- be- what oh, has become life. known as alternative I, health over 30 years I have sold hundreds of millions of dollars worth of pharmaceuticals and yet in the last 30 years I have not taken myself one single pharmaceutical product everything I do is natural and I haven't had a single oh. call in over 30 years <laughs> So I do believe in this with all my heart. I think that's terrific, and uh, we're uh, we're happy to uh, to talk about it. Uh, the uh, name of the uh, product is uh, femaxine dot and it, you can find out more about it by going to femaxine dot com. We thank our friends at um, Marketing Mavens to um, and Lindsay and Allie. For your listeners, and this is just for your listeners, nobody else has it. If they go to our website and they use the code FEM15, they will get a 15% discount on the purchase. Oh, that's terrific. Thank you very much. Okay, yes, ladies, you. if you need right. that, that's um, FEM16. See if. Uh, FEM15. FEM15. Terrific. Oscar, thank you very much. Have a, a, a great uh, holiday season. Stay safe. And um, uh, look for And we look forward to talking to you again soon. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day. You too. Uh, thank you, Oscar. Uh, thank you, uh, everybody. We'll be back in just a couple of moments as we wrap up this edition of Late Night Health. You can join us at LateNightHealth.com. LateNightHealth.com. Take it away, Daryl. You're listening to Late Night Health with Mark Allen. The show continues in a moment.
If you're listening to Late Night Health right now, you're part of the growing target of baby boomers we're serving. Hi, I'm Daryl Wayne, producer of Late Night Health, inviting you to join the Late Night Health family. If you have any business targeting the growing boomer market, Late Night Health is the ideal advertising vehicle for you. From vitamins to insurance, alternative health to Western-style medicine, Late Night Health caters to the growing population of those over 40 years old. This vibrant demographic has expendable income to fight aging, purchase travel, take care of aging parents, or just have fun. Find out about the advertising opportunities with Late Night Health. Call us at 805-391-0308. That's 805-391-0308 or email us at info at latenighthealth.com. That's info at latenighthealth.com. Join Late Night Health as we empower people to take charge of their own health care. Call now at 805-391-0308. That's 805-391-0308. There's a lot of talk all over the Internet about the remarkable benefits of carbon-60, and baby boomers are especially excited about it. Greska's Carbon 60 is the premium Carbon 60, developed by an aerospace and NASA scientist. 95% of Greska's customers report positive results from this Nobel Prize winning technology in just four days. Imagine more energy, better health, and more vitality. It's very bioavailable to quickly mend toxin cripple cells. This is a super powerful antioxidant. Bob Greska is so confident that you'll love his Carbon 60, he wants to send you a bottle at 50% off the regular price to see how life-changing this will be for you. Call 720-600-6040. That's 720-600-6040. Visit c-60.com to learn more. Call 720-600-6040 now or visit c-60.com. Welcome to Guide to the Soul. This is Robert Clancy. Balance in life isn't about making everything equal. It's about sharing equal parts of your heart for each area of your life. Many people seem to struggle with bringing their life into balance. Family, work, and health all seem to be a challenge these days. Think of the demands you have on your own schedule and time. It can be frustrating and overwhelming. What's most important to discover is that peace is not about finding a quiet place among the chaos. Peace is about listening for the divine whispers of love amidst this turmoil. Take a breath and you will find balance. For more inspiration from Robert Clancy, visit GuideToTheSoul.com or go to the Moments with Robert page on LateNightHealth.com. Late Night Health continues. I'm Mark Allen. We're going to take uh, uh, time to reflect and uh, be grateful with Robert Clancy today. We're going to talk about um, Thanksgiving and things to be grateful for. Uh, Robert, of course, is a regular contributor. Robert, tell us, uh, share with us your inspirational thought about, about gratitude. Yeah, you know, be, being gratitude for all you have, for who you are, and for what you bring to the world, so that is the best way to give thanks for everything that is there for you. And, you know, especially in this time, I was thinking back to Thanksgiving. We had this uh, you know, thing that would stay around at Thanksgiving. We said, well, we never know who's not going to be there next year. And this year is even more poignant in that because there are people that aren't going to be sitting around the table. But I was actually thankful that it's because they're still here that they're not around the table, not because they're gone. And that's actually a gratitude moment right there, knowing that you have these people in your life and everything is still going to be okay and you can still stay connected. There'll be fewer people around the table and we'll all be distanced if you are. Uh, I've heard people that you know, are having really small Thanksgiving, which is two people, three people, uh, you know, maybe separated uh, well, not maybe, but they are separated. And, but they're bringing over their own mm. utensils and things like that, bringing over their own plate of food and eating it, but, but maintaining that. It's probably one of the best and safest ways to have Thanksgiving. Absolutely. Uh, let's uh, turn to uh, Daryl and put him on the spot, and that yes, is sir. 
Daryl, can you share what you're thankful for this year? Well, I mean, there's been a lot of challenges, obviously, this year from a medical standpoint, financial standpoint, from an emotional standpoint, and I'm just uh, glad that we're still standing. Yeah. Uh, we have Josh Lane in studio <coughs> as well. Josh, how about you? It's been a very difficult time for everyone, and since I know that, and frankly, I kind of learned more about it when people on the Internet and radio and TV were, were speaking about it. So when they were speaking about it, it really helped me because I realized, oh, yes, yes, everyone else kind of feels the same way. And that was enormously helpful. It, it sounds silly. You think that I would have the brain to know it myself. But really, people on in media were commenting on it in a very nice way. And I thought, oh, yes, and that made things easier for me during this very difficult time. Thank you, Josh. I appreciate that, and I appreciate your thoughts as well, Daryl. You've got changes in your life, uh, Robert, and for the most part, positive. I, I think that that we all have to look at the positive changes uh, that is now becoming the new normal. As you said, social distancing, for example, at thank even at dinner. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, what I'm thankful for is that, well, first of all, we still have us. Like, we've been doing this show for, for so many years, and that's definitely, you know, a great thing to touch base and connect each week with whatever's going on in our lives. But to find out that everyone is going through the same thing and how you process it is a different way, you know, each person to their own, but there's there's a community that we're all part of the same big picture. And you know, I, I was in New York, now I'm living in California, and there's more shutdowns happening here. You know, they're doing some things, uh, Los Angeles County. I, I don't live in Los Angeles County, but they're, they're now, you know, tr they're really trying to keep things safe. And, and, you know, we hope and pray that there's not this huge bump after Thanksgiving, that maybe, maybe by a miracle we're going to go down and that people are doing the right thing out there. You know, we can all do our part by trying to keep socially distanced and, and those things, but, still connect and I actually talked to a friend uh, on my drive today and what they're doing for their Thanksgiving is they're using uh, like you know FaceTime or Zoom or one of those platforms and they're having them around the table so you know you can still do this yeah we're uh, we're gonna have a small gathering uh, we will be uh, socially distanced and um uh, there'll be less than six people. I think it. I think the 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 suggestion is less than than eight, and we'll have half of that, maybe less. And it's 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 interesting to me because Thanksgiving has always been a fun holiday, and it's a time I think for reflection on the past year and a look forward at the new year it's the beginning of the holiday season and i think that it's um it's a good family time it's a friend time uh for those of you know we we talked to we talked to a friend a mutual friend of ours earlier in the show sharon uh, sailor um that you actually i think introduced me to years ago and we had her on the show today and you know she zooms with her grandkids and family and it it makes for a uh, a very nice time together but at the same time at the same time you know you miss the the physical contact uh, being in in her case with her grandkids and getting those hugs and those those sweet little kisses Yeah, and Sharon's like a, you know, a great example because she, she actually has the autoimmune hour and she had an autoimmune disease. And that and she's already been going through this long before or the social distancing because when she got very sick, she couldn't see family. So she's a, a great example of somebody that has resilience and has the tools already in place to kind of move forward with this. Yeah, we all miss each other. We miss the hugs. We miss all those things. Uh, but we can still do that. We can still communicate. And, you know, it's looking for those little wins, the little 
gratitude moments, the small moments in life. They happen every day. I was out walking, and I saw an elderly couple walking on the other side of the road, and they're holding hands and smiling. So there, there's still things that we have, you know, and you, know, you could see it in their eyes. They're all, they had masks on, but, you know, they were smiling at each other because you could tell. <laughs> you know, just how yeah. they were, they were, their posture and everything else. Yeah, I uh, I was at the grocery store a couple of weeks ago and uh, was coming out of the store and went into the parking lot and there's an elderly couple walking into the store. And I had my mask on and I smiled at them and the woman stopped and said, oh my, thank you for reminding us. And they went back to the car. They had forgotten their masks, but they were holding hands they were very happy, and I, I, it was, and we talked for a moment or two after that, and I think that it was just a, a nice thing uh, to happen at this, you know, this unprecedented time where, you know, social distancing, wearing masks. I mean, 10 years ago, if you walked into a, a restaurant, a bar, um, your doctor's office, the grocery store, with a mask on, they think they would think that you were going to rob them. I mean, it's times have changed. Yeah, now you walk into the same grocery store without a mask, and everybody looks at you like you're going to kill them. <laughs> yeah, so, exactly. Yeah, you're there are different right. times now. Have you forgotten your mask at all and walked in, started to walk in and go, oh, my, because I've done Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Yeah. Many times. And, you know, I have backup masks in my car, you know, that are disposable for if I, if, if for whatever reason I forget, I try to keep them, you know, I got a regimen of cleaning them. Uh, then I've got the uh, temporary ones, you know, all of that stuff. So, that, yeah, there's, there's a whole routine that you have to go through now just to go outside and do a simple task like grocery shopping. Yeah, exactly. Where I'm uh, about to go now. Uh, we're out of time. Thank you very much, Robert. Uh, he is the uh, co-host of the Mindset Reset TV show. And you can find that at... Um, where can you find that, Robert? Real quick. Uh, MindsetResetTV.com uh, We are out of time. I am so grateful for Daryl. I am grateful for Robert. I'm uh, pretty grateful for uh, Josh Lane. And uh, we thank you because we are most grateful for you for listening. I'm Mark Allen. Have a great week. Have a great holiday. Stay safe. And most importantly, have a healthy week. We'll see you next time. Sometimes it's not what you say, it's how you say it. Words are a critical aspect of success. How you get your point across is a crucial part of what makes anything sell. So do it right and hire a writer. Whether it's articles, blog posts, technical writings, website content, product descriptions, or ghost writing anything from a novel to a nonfiction book about your navel, contact Servette Hassan. If you want it to sell, write it right. Email Servette at Servette at ServetteHassan.com. The latest from the greatest, the best in new music by classic rockers, with your host, the insane Daryl Wayne. This is Alice Cooper, and if Daryl Wayne is insane, what does that make me criminally insane? Stick around to find out. Many of the artist interviews for the latest from the greatest have been captured on audiobook. There is a volume one and volume two. Great information and conversations with people in the industry and people surrounded by the industry, and of course, the rock stars themselves. I'm the Reverend Al Green, and you're listening to the insane Daryl Wayne. And I said, Wayne Insane. You can find it on Amazon or Blackstone Audio. Search for the latest from the greatest from Daryl Wayne, D-A-R-R-E-L-L-W-A-Y-N-E. Hello, this is Weird Al Yankovic, and you're listening to the insane Daryl Wayne, aren't you? <laughs> 